Now the next uh, topic that we will look at is called internet behavior. So what, uh, what are the kind of things that we could do which will ensure and ensure us to be safe on the internet. The first thing is we use when we use public Wi-Fi networks we should you only use it for casual browsing. That means do not do financial tra transactions on public Wi-Fi because you do not have control over what are the kind of uh, things that are working on that particular network. There might be people who are trying to sniff uh, the network for say a different uh, purposes and there could be malicious users who could use this information against you. Then the other thing you could do is use mobile networks instead because your mobile network is directly connected to your internet service provider which is a much more secure network than a public Wi-Fi network. Or what you could use is something called a VPN, a virtual private network. A simple VPN software what it does is it creates a tunnel between your system and the VPN server and this tunnel is encrypted. So any information going through it is in an encrypted form. Hence, others on the Wi-Fi network will not be able to look into the kind of information that you are communicating on the network. So the next point that we look at it is uh, never mix home and work devices. So why not do that? Because your work devices have access to certain networks and say certain uh, confidential applications. And if you have to happen to be browsing some websites which had malicious uh, code on your, on your work device that could compromise the security of the entire uh, network of the uh, company. So the best practice is you can access it over your personal device because the level of damage that might happen could be limited to just that device versus the entire company's network being compromised. That's why companies have a policy where you can you are not allowed in certain cases to take the devices home and even if you are you are not allowed to do private browsing or say social uh, networking on your work laptops or say uh, other devices. Then you should also have device trust levels as we talked about. So if a device is being used say by the kids and who are not that, uh, that much aware of uh, security might browse some uh, interesting games websites but which might have some malicious code which could have been installed on, on that system. So it would not be advisable to do something say like a financial transaction on that particular uh, system as it could lead into leakage of your uh, private information. So other thing that you should be aware of is called the PIA or personally identifiable information on the internet. This means that a set of information that can identify you as a person. For example, your date of birth, your address and a lot more things. Now these information are also used as authentication measures by some of the important uh, organizations say your office or your bank. For example, when you call your bank, they usually ask you uh, what, your, what is your address or what is your email ID. That is also a level of authentication that they are trying to do. But if you have all these information available in one place at the internet, this information can be used against you or can be used by a malicious person to pose as you. In regards to PIA, what we have to be cautious about is uh, when you are using social network. You should post very responsibly and be aware of the kind of things you are posting and you should also review the kind of uh, things you are posting so that the PIA is limited. For example, if there is certain information which you feel can be used against you, it, it should be limited say between your trusted uh, uh, group, say just your friends. The other thing that you should be cautious about is use HTTPS while browsing. You should have, uh, you should be aware of the password policies like you should change your passwords say uh, in a month or two or if you feel that a password has been compromised or you have shared the password with a lot of people then it is a good time to change your password. You should also be aware of the email policies like we were talking about the classification of information. For example, if you are sending this email as a secret to the other employee on the same company, you might uh, want to mention it as a secret or whatever the classic classification terms that are used in your company. Then the another point that you should be aware of is avoid, avoid geotagging. So these days many phones they come with the feature of recording your uh, GPS coordinates when you take a picture. So you should be aware that when you are sharing the pictures, maybe the information about your location is also getting shared. 